Okay, so let me show you how to use Laser Bond 100 on stainless steel. This is one I've used on my prior videos and I've cleaned it with mineral spirits. Now we're going to shake the can and basically you're gonna put a very light light coat. It looks heavy on this camera angle, but I promise you it's a very, very thin uh, layer. The thicker it is, the more power you have to use in your laser. So now we're gonna let it dry for about That's it. Uh, three minutes, three, four minutes. And this is the graphic that I'm going to engrave. It is about 21 millimeters high. And as you can see, we're gonna do low speed. And I'm gonna use about 32% power, which is about eight milliamps in my machine. So I've got everything set up. Let's go ahead and uh, put the safety goggles on and start marking. The slower, the higher quality I see. Now we're shooting at about a thousand pixels per inch and that's the quality of the raster. As you can see, it's very low power and it's gonna look like it's messing up while it's burning, but just trust it, it's fine. See, it looks burnt and it looks really bad, but that's okay. Here's where the magic happens. Okay, so there it is. Now for the magic, we're gonna open up the water. Look at that. Whoa. There you go. Now we're just gonna clean it up a little bit more with some mineral spirits. Get some of the sud out. It's great if you have goo gone. It will clean it up real nice. And this will permanently bond now to to that uh, top surface, very thin. But as you can see in my other videos, you would have to really, really abuse it to get that off. So this is how you can use your K40 laser with Laser Bond 100 on stainless steel metal. That's it, I hope you enjoy it. And Again, Laser Bond 100 seems to work really well. I have not used any other products and I hope this helped.